particular. Simon Michelle from Fig Securities joins me. Simon, good to speak to you. Now, there is this growing political uncertainty and it's even affected the bond market. Good afternoon, Helen. Yes, absolutely. We've certainly reached that tipping point. It would appear that we're seeing quite a bit of a safe haven flow. And that's really on the back of the continued political uh, issues over in the US. And, and that really flows down, you know, is the uh, US government going to have the ability to implement the fiscal uh, policy initiatives, the tax cuts, the infrastructure spending, if they're focused on uh, these sorts of issues? And so people are starting to pull their money off the table, essentially. So what happened to the US 10 years? US 10 years is now now to uh, only about six basis points uh, above its uh, low for the year at 2.23%. Um, that's down or held, it's uh, dropped down by about five to 10 basis points uh, over the last 24 hours and uh, would likely uh, drop a little bit further in the US Opens uh, later tonight. So how has that, uh, what's that done to sort of the June rate hike by the Fed? Well, it's interesting, only a week ago we were talking about an 80% chance of a June rate hike. That's now down to 60%. Uh, and more interestingly, Helen, if you have a look at the Fed Fund's futures rate, rate, which is what the market's telling us, it's really not pricing in a full rate hike until November this year. So it could wow. be possible that we only actually see one more tightening uh, before the end of 2017. Yeah, so is it this sort of diminishing chance or the perception of a diminishing chance of the US tax cuts and the infrastructure spend happening, is that because of the political turmoil around the Trump presidency? Look, it really is. I mean, really what long-term interest rates tell you is uh, the bit of a proxy for growth and inflation. So, you know, we've seen the equity markets get very carried away. We've seen good growth over there as people have sort of bought into uh, a higher growth environment, uh, the, the benefit for business of tax cuts. But we haven't really seen that reflected in the bond markets. So the bond markets sort of like to see the devil in the details. So, uh, you know, what we're seeing now is yields continue to fall. That's good for bondholders, but you're also seeing a lot of a risk off trade and people moving out of equities and in for bonds and that's creating that demand. Simon Michelle from Fig Securities, appreciate that very much. Have a good day. Thank you, you Helen. You too.